funny story, but when I first started uh, in conversation design, everyone was convinced that I was working on something called chat boxes. And I would say, no, 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 no. I'm a conversation designer f for chat bots. And they're like, chat, chat boxes? I'm like, no, 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 chat bots with a T. Um, but it was, it was very confusing, you can understand, because the actual interaction would happen in something called a chat box. And so you would go into a website and then it would pop up, or you would go into Facebook Messenger and you would talk in a chat box. So everyone thought I was working on chat boxes. They used to be called chatter boxes. Um, when I first started in AI, it was chatter boxes. And so what you would create would be like a computer program, like a chatter box. And chatter box is literally defined by the dictionary as a person who talks at length about trivial matters. And so that's what the chatter boxes would do. And so, um, but they're not chatter boxes and they're not chat boxes. They're actually called chat bots. Um, and so they created this company called chat box, which I think is hilarious that um, not only are they taking a term that is no longer in use and it's not actually going to even really be used here much longer once you get into voice but they're actually also taking the OpenAI logo and so if you were maybe confused and you're like oh I need one of those OpenAI chatbots that everyone's been talking about and you see this kind of like cheap knockoff of the OpenAI logo um, and you see their interface you're like oh this, is, this must be it I'm just gonna go ahead and download this thing because everyone's talking about this but that's it's it's like a scam. It's funny. You have to, you have to slow this da slow this thing down. It can basically generate any image you want. So it can. Okay, great. But I mean, everybody can do that these days. And, and what are you doing with these images that you're generating? I mean, it's fun, but um, what's the business use case here? But okay, fine. Let's say let's say you want to recoup your investment from investing and in buying this terrible, terrible, terrible app. Um, and so it's like it can answer any question. And the first question it says here and if you, you have to really stop it I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop it on the screen and freeze it on the screen real quick here it says how can I make money which is an awesome awesome question I think we, we're all asking that I think Sam Altman at OpenAI is asking the same question and then ChatGPT answers and their answer is is um, nothing short of brilliant really it says there are many ways to make money depending on your skills interests and resources here are some common ways to make money, okay? And at number one, at coming in at number one, and this is gonna shock a great many of you, millions of viewers out there, it's gonna shock you, so I hope you're sitting down. Number one, get a job. That's what it says, it says get a job. You can work for a company or organization and earn salary or hourly wage. I think just with this little piece of advice, you're going to be able to recoup your investment on this app. Chat, but let's take out some of the reviews because this is where it gets really funny, right? So if you go onto the actual reviews, and then it's like, um, so let's start off with the first one, which is a positive review, and I, I, I just I don't know what to make of it. It's like Leon Key. Leon's like, this app is so amazing that it arrives at the point I like and the point I want. Leon, I think, um, I'm not even sure you wrote that, Leon. Okay. Inferior chat app. This is Mike Myrek Goldberg. Inferior chat app because there's no paperclip icon or file upload option in the Cla Claude chat interface. Users can't directly attach an image to a written question. The, mis the missing feature is very important. He's talking about multimodality. So basically, yeah, this is not the latest. But let's take a look. So this is Brooklyn Sharp. <laughs> Strange, strange, uh, but very cool name. App is terrible. The ads are fake. The song generation doesn't even have lyrics, and the genres are wrong. I asked for jazz and got electronic music. The story generation RP feature is awful, too. Please go find a better eye. This one is horrible. Also, you won't be able to use it long without paying for generation and images. Okay, so yeah, this is awful. Uh, so this stuff is just ridiculous. Um, really a lot of negative comments here so I don't think you should be downloading this app at all um, cool anyway so that's a chat box and chatter boxes and now they're called chat bots yeah but um, you know and then they're like large language models AI LLM you know they keep on changing the names but in truth they're just as um, useless <laughs> as they've always been um, unless unless and this is the key point here that I'm gonna leave you with unless you want a chatterbox if you just want a chatterbox if you just want something to be there and fill in the space because you're lonely these things are amazing um, I, and I, it's fun talking to them you know so I mean in that case like if you're if your options are talking to a chatterbox or sitting 
and and feeling depressed and lonely, I could go talk to a chatterbox. But don't download this app. Just go to uh, OpenAI. It's free. I I know who these ads are targeting. They're targeting teenagers, and it's a terrible thing, and we should stop it. And um, also, why is this? Why are these videos so long? I need to get a life.